Hello, this is Craig again, Poolside Dreamer. It's April 24th, 2022. I have these organic fingerling potatoes that have sprouted and some of which have gone bad in my pantry. For some reason, my pantry is an excellent place to sprout potatoes. At any rate, I'm gonna plant these in cardboard boxes. I got this idea initially from Dirt Patch Heaven, and I think she's changed her channel name, but I can't remember what it's changed to. And then also, just today, I saw I Am Organic Gardener, I believe it was, and he was using cardboard boxes to plant his potatoes in, or at least some of his potatoes. So I thought I'd give it a try. These are going to waste anyway. And this bed is the one that I am burying my kitchen scraps in. And it'll be a while before this ground is usable again. But if I plant in cardboard boxes on top of it, I might get something. There is a volunteer potato coming up right there. It must be from potato scraps that got buried at any rate. These boxes are a little bit small for the purpose, but it's what I'm going to use because that's what I have. I'm placing the potatoes in the bottom here. That's probably all that's going to grow in those boxes. Hopefully I'll find a couple more boxes that I can use to put in here. This plant right here, I believe, is a volunteer sunflower. I had a sunflower show up one year, several years ago, and I've always let it go to seed. And since then, every year I get at least a couple of these. So I just let them grow. Okay, let me get this filled in and I'll be back with you. All right, I've got these covered with a little bit of worm castings. You see here? Now I'm going to put a little rock dust and a little organic fertilizer on top of this. Okay, I've added a little soil sulfur to the top of these. I'll mix that in and I'm going to water these in thoroughly. Then add some more garden soil on top of it. Alright, I've got them watered in thoroughly. I'm going to add a third box, which I will do off camera. I still have about four or five left. Those little sprouted fingerlings. And I'm running out of daylight, so i got to get moving. Okay, that's about all I'm going to do for today. Let the potatoes come up through here and then add some mulch or more soil. Just depending on what I feel like. In the meantime, I'll get that one started. It's kind of late in the season here in Phoenix to be planting potatoes. Get towards the end of April and it gets really hot here come June, July, August, even into September. So these won't reach maturity until the hot part of the year. But hopefully the cardboard box will help keep the soil cooler and maybe I'll get something out of it. Either way, I've got nothing to lose. Potatoes will be thrown out. I'm gonna add extra soil to this bed anyway, and cardboard boxes are just gonna be recycled. So to me, it's a win-win. Whatever I get out, get out of this, it's a win-win. So that's about all for now. I'm gonna mix a little more rock dust and uh, fertilizer in here and call it a night. Well, I got that third box in. I've got five of those potatoes in there, one of which is fairly thoroughly rotten, so it may not grow. It had sprouted though. It's kind of late in the season for these here in Phoenix. It'll get really hot in another month or two. And these probably won't have time to mature before the heat wave hits. But I'm hoping that uh, the cardboard box will at least keep them cooler. And we'll see where we go from there. Well, I've got the third one planted and in place. I left the opening there particularly because I've got that one volunteer potato coming up. And this opening because I've got that one sunflower coming up. So that's all for now. Y'all take care. Like, subscribe, comment, and see you soon. Bye.